Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning down in South Florida. We're Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm. This is the uh, load of mulch I got in with a big bulk tractor trailer rig. It's horse shavings. And we're putting it around our young achachas and our dragon fruit stumps. Well, actually, the dragon fruit are around our avocado stumps. But this is our South Florida farm. Avocado tree here. A cha-cha tree here. That's about four feet tall. Papaya. But this is what we're doing. And it's in line with a uh, tropical fruit forest. We're coming in, see the, uh, the dragon fruit starting? You take a cutting from the dragon fruit and just plant it. And the, of course it starts forming adventitious roots. And there's another achacha growing right beside the avocado. Anyway, this is uh, again, the tropical fruit forest. And we'll send the link to you about regenerative farming, talking about this is one of the ways that a farmer can be diversified. It's having a lot of fruit trees. And since we live in a subtropical area, the uh, obvious thing to do down here is tropical fruit trees. What I'm gonna do is get back in my gator and drive up to a few different areas and talk about our fruit trees. Another nice achacha. We're so excited about the achacha because no one else around here has it. Unfortunately, it's a seedling and seedlings have the characteristic um, seven to 10 years before they have any fruit. Got a little bit of avocados here. That's a seedling avocado tree. So our trees are roughly five to six years old as far as the achachas, and we're, we're hoping that our season's gonna start soon with fruit. Uh, it's an incredible fruit, very friendly to a farmer because you don't have to refrigerate it. You can pick it leave it in your kitchen for two weeks and it eats just as well as when you picked it off the tree. You can take the peel with uh, say 10 to 12 peels from an achacha with a couple of quarts of water, blend it up and it makes this incredible tea. Of course you strain, the, strain out the juice and uh, you drink the tea from that. Incredible uh, vitamins, a lot of good antioxidants. Let me jump into this. This is, uh, well, this gator we bought in 2000. And it's been a good, a good vehicle for us. Hopefully it's not too loud. But I wanted to take you to the largest achacha tree that we have. And as we drive through, kind of a drive around, that's our small row of sugar apples we just planted. Of course, papaya, achacha, avocado. Young cha cha. We have a, around 2,000 cha cha trees in our operation here in South Florida. And to my to my knowledge, no one else has that many in the continental United States. So we're we're excited about that because in farming. You have to separate yourself out from the mainstream. I found that out the hard way. 
You've got to grow something that nobody else has, if that's possible. This is our oldest tree here, the achacha. It's probably 10 feet. I'm 6'2", and I don't know what you're seeing here, but you can see that it's, uh, and it starts fruiting from the inside, from the inside out. There's another fairly old tree. Let me take you up to what's exciting too about the Sorella. Again, right about, here we go. Maybe, uh, listen to me. Aaron's my oldest son, but maybe my youngest son, Brett, who's holding the fort down in um, Virginia, can put on some music right now. here to our early variety of our Sorella hog plum and just show you the incredible uniqueness of this tree. It has leaves about six months out of the year then it sheds its leaves and then it starts putting out its buds and flowers right on the trunk. Hopefully you can see this. This is a little uh, fruitlet that started. That's going to turn either red, well it's going to be red, but you do have some that are yellow and it's it's, it's a, a nice uh, uh, plum type tasting fruit. Very good. But see all the little, you're going to have little fruitlets coming out from all these, all this bloom. That's going to be sometime in February, March. Anyway, just wanted to give a recap of what's going on down at the farm here in South Florida. Regenerative Farm. My wife, Peg, who's the rock star, she's doing lessons uh, maybe five miles as a crow flies from this location, just wide open all day. Brett's up in the Virginia operation overseeing that and uh, we look forward to the move and again we're good hope equestrian and regenerative farm where the hope of healing the soul and soil come together signing off till next time